Will the taxes that the NDP pile on ever stop? Probably not. They increased corporate taxes, implemented the outrageous carbon tax, and now they're increasing property taxes in the form of what's called the education property tax, which is paid for by homeowners and funds 32% of total educational costs. But Rachel Notley insists that this is not a tax, which is completely disingenuous at best. Calgarians will see a 10.2% increase, while Edmontonians will see an 8.7% increase. In Calgary, this means about $170 jump, and in Edmonton, a $109 jump based on average home prices. But remember, it's not a tax. The NDP claim that it's to cover the additional spending granted to education in the province for the last budget. And there's more. Danielle Larravee, Minister of Municipal Affairs, says that the increase is due to an increase in the market value of homes, new construction, and on top of the additional funding for schools. But what the government failed to take into account and completely failed to mention is that current home assessments were done before the economic downturn. The Calgary Real Estate Board has predicted benchmark prices for homes to decrease by 3.44% this year alone, while home sales have dropped off 26.4% in the city and sales are down by 2.2%. So overall, there's less demand and homes will sell for less in Calgary. A graph of forecast price comparisons shows just how dire the housing situation in Calgary is compared to previous years. And Royal LePage says that Calgary will have the weakest real estate market out of all the major cities in Canada this year, while home prices will continue to increase for the rest of Canada. But don't worry, these aren't taxes according to the NDP. Remember, the carbon tax is just a levy and the educational property tax is just a function of higher property assessments according to Rachel Notley, of course. And another shady thing about this whole deal is that it's not the NDP collecting the actual tax, it's municipalities. So they have to deal with the backlash from citizens. Every time this government increases taxes, they use one excuse and one excuse only. Alberta still has the lowest taxes in Canada. As if there's still room for us to be taxed even further until we hit that ceiling. And with all of this spending, like they've gotten a hold of their parents' credit card, they will no longer be able to use this as an excuse. The Alberta NDP, still kicking Albertans when they're already down. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.